The field of AI research has made tremendous progress in recent years. We now have algorithms that can beat humans at complex video games and board games like chess and Go, and also algorithms that can generate text and even images that are so compelling that they can fool humans in a lot of cases. I'm interested in gaining a better understanding of what these algorithms actually do, how they work, and the kinds of limitations that they currently have. So in my work, I try to tackle these notions head on at the crossroads between philosophy and computer science. In the linguistic domain, for example, we now have these algorithms that can generate whole paragraphs of text that are grammatically well-formed, stylistically coherent and topically relevant. And this immediately raises some questions about the extent to which these algorithms really grasp the meanings of the word they use. In other words, the extent to which they really understand uh, the kind of linguistic output that they produce. And when it comes to the algorithms that can generate images or other kinds of visual media, uh, I've been interested in how they challenge the traditional taxonomy of visual media, uh, but also how they are slowly changing and will continue to change human creativity in the future. And so I've designed a task for these benchmarks with some colleagues to probe uh, the, the extent to which these algorithms can understand novel conceptual combinations in the way we humans can understand these combinations. So think of uh, uh, the concept of an apartment dog. I can take the concept of a dog and the concept of an apartment and put these two together and you would immediately know what I mean by apartment dog. You can maybe conjure up in your head uh, various features that apartment dogs might have. They might be on the smaller side because they have to fit in an apartment, the, the small apartments we have in New York City. And so we can do that, we humans, because we can flexibly combine the meaning of words together in a way that is constrained by our knowledge about how the world works. But that's a real challenge for algorithms. So we designed this task to probe the extent to which they can do that. There's this one larger algorithm trained on more text data that was recently released by Google that actually virtually reached the human average on our task. And that can force us to revise uh, our idea of what understanding is, not only in machines, but also perhaps also in humans.